Getting experience is enough for him. The hook shot is where it's at to find kills and pressure around the map. We're moving into the first night cycle, though. Solo on the Night Stalker, level three, rotating down bottom. Ether Shock doing a lot of damage here. Crypt Swarm from the Hasted Up Death Prophet gets one kill. Maybe next time trying to run through the trees, but no one will bring him down with one stray auto attack. A double kill for the DP. And with the haste of mana for the rage. He's still Skylark, got mango, though. He's got mana for something. Maybe he can get off a of battery assault here. He does. Can he close the gap? Here we go. Rage forced out. Now maybe the Echo Stomp. It will connect. It wake him up from the slumber, and there's too many creeps nearby to intercept the damage. Now Solo comes joining the party. Skylark taking a lot of damage. We'll get right click down, and they turn it back the other way. Now Spartan on the run. Just brown boots. Not going to be able to buy his Tranquils. Oh, yes, he does. He gets just enough money in time. And Elder Titan will fall. Minimal losses. Although this would be a huge kill for him. Yep, right in onto no one. The Exorcism comes out. This could be a big kill if they can bring him down, but the Spirit Siphon oh, no. just doing too much. Skylark now getting turned on. The Crypt Swarm. The Ghost will chase him down. No one gets credit for the kill. Thug coming back with some return damage, but it's just not enough. No one is too tanky right now. So unfortunate. Exorcism is not something you want to fight into, even yeah, if you're pretty wall. far ahead. And here we go. Rasta Wards come down. Echo Stomp to start things off. Maybe. Drops the finger onto Shadow Shaman, but it's not enough for Achilles. Sidesteps the Chakra. Now the back wall. They do end up getting the kill on the Lion. Ad Finum on the back foot. Echo Stomp again helps break up the fight, but they're charging in deep. Omni Flash does minimal damage. Madara in a world of hurt. They'll bring down Thug first. It's a disastrous fight for Ad Finum so far, and it's not done quite yet. Spartan off to the side gets caught by open wounds. He'll be brought down, and Madara killed by no one through the Exorcism Crypt Swarm combo. It's a one for four, and the Shadow Shaman got his wards down. I've seen a lot more commonly. Uh oh, maybe hold that thought. No one up top. TP is right into it. Skylark was hiding in the trees. It's up a hook shot, but now Earth Splitter flying in. No one getting low. Yule Scepter, not enough to save it. Mag does TP in, so does FN. They're looking for some counter kills. Might be able to bring down Spartan. Vacuum into wall. Sets up an easy double kill. Vega turn it one for two. Still not ideal to lose their death. You can get it up next. Get him a little extra armor. Survivability and also just oh, that utility. Is going so to work good. Up top. Yeah, no one initiated on. Oh my god. Finger into Earth Splitter. He dodges oh, it with the lives. Yules. BKB, if he lives here, oh my good uh, gracious, he out. will. Spirit Siphon comes out. It's a turn for the ages. Two for nil the other way. Vega, not a game-winning fight, but certainly a demor- He actually clicks really hard now, even through Magic Immunity. Uh oh there's a trap brewing here. Mag comes in, back wall on two again. Follow up, that'll be the end of the lion right away. Spartan, he will be able to make it back to the base, but very cheeky play there from Vega. They leave the wards, they think it's free farm. And they just jump in and take a fight. Now no one in pretty oh, deep. He does go. have an exorcism. Sayoma nearby, but this time I think he might just let it go. Spirit Siphon trying to keep himself alive. Pops the BKB. Not again. Actually healing Please up quite no. a bit. Is this going to be the same story, different chapter? Now Thug coming in. Can't quite slow him down. The pipe will stop any damage that she's got. And down she goes. They get the high prize kill on the Death Prophet. She makes him work for it, though. That's for sure. Like the timing, you know, necessitates that. Like, just leave the AC for FN, he can grab it in a little while. Oh, no one about to break the smoke, but Skylark actually hook shots in. Earth Splitter will connect on no one. Pops the BKB, will live on the back line. Skylark just gets destroyed as he goes in a bit too deep. Yule Scepter on to maybe next time. But Sayoma will TP back to deal with it. Meanwhile, Lion caught, drops the finger. Solo might actually be the one that goes down. Gemma True Sight hits the deck, hook shot in on to Mag. Might not be too bad for Ad Finum after all. The Death Prophet still alive. Ultimate with a little bit of duration left. She wants to just get out of there. And the gem will be... And they're just completely repelled. They can't take the fight. There's just this wall of do not pass. They'll get the melee barracks. They'll get the range. Hook shot in. Skylark breaking up the fight. Is it actually going to be enough though? He just gets hexed. Now the back wall back in. They bring down two. Beautiful stun on four, but it just slows down the inevitable. Now a buyback used by Elder Titan. Honestly, wrap around the backside. Madara, maybe up to something sneaky, but oh no, Skylark, he gets initiated on by Solo. Even if he doesn't kill him, the clockwork's completely zoned out. They do bring down the Shadow Shaman before he uses his wards. A pretty good start for Ad Finna, but now Thug caught outside of the base, gets destroyed. Will have a buyback oh, available, nice uses it right away, but now they lose the Lion. No one just doing too much damage. Skylark completely useless in this fight.
honestly was zoned out, joins the party, and just gets dropped by the DP without doing a lick of damage. Buybacks coming to plenty here. Clockwork does have one available. He's going to hang on to it for now. Lifestealer almost forcing a dieback onto the lion. Force Staff with the Ion Shell Rage is pretty scary. No Glyph available for Ad Finim. They'll do what damage they can to the Tier 3, and now the Clockwork buys back. Abyssal Blade onto no one. Ad Finim want to get something from all of these buybacks. Still three back of them wall. deployed. Can they actually get it, though? Dara chopping away. No one with the BKB. Spirit Siphon actually healing him through it. Echo Stomp does break up the fight. Solo comes back into the party. Now Thug doing what damage he can, but everybody is silenced, it feels like. Madara going blow for blow with Solo. This is not going to be a fight that Ad Finum can win. They just don't have the resources. Dyer getting low. They're going to lose two, but FN still alive, as is no one. The Spirit Siphon oh, still on. keeping him up. The Cogs slowing down FN, but now Skylark on the run. It's a crazy ring around the Rosie. They do manage to bring down the Death Prophet. It's a defensive hook shot away. These Cogs actually, in com uh, the Cogs combined with the Elder Titan Echo Stomp, it broke up that bad Finum in game one of this best of three. FN Dota, the hands of 18, 18, zero and seven. Damn, that is a hell of a game coming up from him. It's just very difficult for them to actually try and lock him down. I mean, we talked. Bring the heat and put a lot of pressure on this mid lane. Already two heroes wrapping around. Solo looking to set up onto Thug. He drops a Forge Spirit. Dazzle looking to be nearby. Heal Bomb inbound. Oh, Thug down to 50% HP straight away. Now no one ready to follow up. Whirling Death next to the trees. This should be your first blood. No point in Wex. No Ghost Walk to get away. And no one. I'll take it back a little bit here. It's just Timbersaw needs so much. I, I think he is doing well enough, though. You look at the Invoker. Thug is in Strug City. He's 0 and 2. He's going to get roamed on again. This skill bomb is going to do an absurd amount of damage. He queues up a Sunstrike, but it doesn't matter at all. That's three deaths on him now. Timber saw number no points in Wild Axes. So really wants to try to make something happen now that he's got these extra units. Maybe this is the opportunity. Oh, Mag, this is really inbound, nice kill. double fours, Necronomicon, Sunstrike after the Primal Roar. He's out of mana. Even a global silence used for this. Mag almost lives through it. It's actually damn close. Now FN comes in, wants to try to turn it around, and the Beastmaster will TP out. It's much map like to themselves. This this was all ad for them territory. All, all this scribbling. Uh, so he's able to sit on that high ground, wait for something to happen. They can push out a little bit now. But now, right again, bottom, relocate. This is the punishment. This is what happens when you come into our jungle. Oh, boy. Dire so territory low. now. Thought he was just farming. Yes. FN will linger around as the metamorphosis hero. Trying to finish it off. Tier 3 tower falls. Now no one gets initiated on. Sun. Oh, my God. You might have been right here, Trent. He just got obliterated under all those stuns. Now FN taking a lot of damage from the Sven. Might still be able to get off Asunder. They're starting to make the retreat. Global Silence comes out. Madara. The build here for them. Both sense. Because like, Clockwork, even when you're irrelevant in terms of items, of course, Cogs can be pretty annoying. They still just die. Here we go. Initiation onto Mag. Follow up stuns. Global Silence comes out. And Vega in a lot of trouble. Sayoma taking heavy damage. He will get off the Shallow Grave. TP will actually make it out. Now the rest of the team, they follow suit. Not as detrimental as it first seemed. As seen right now, but game like this, it's pretty hard to get stuff done. Just really have an opportunity in that early game, but they did crush mid, I suppose. So there was that. Bite gonna break out here. They start on the mag. Follow up stun from Madara, but it's gonna get messed up by the disruption. Wisp will actually die first, but the rest of their team starting to just melt under the pressure. Madara gets turned on. It's actually looking pretty good for Vega. Now Thug gonna be slowed down. Do they have any detection? I don't see it yet. Saw still jumping around. Silence, but soon gonna have a little more. He's light on mana. That's the big problem. If he hits his chakra, maybe they can get him. And they nice. will. Silencer falls. Another nice defensive disruption. Two for three is Vega. Take the fight. Now they go high ground. Uh oh. Is this actually a potential turn? I, it's, a, it's a terrible blade. Wouldn't a fight near your base? It's a potential win in any game, honestly. It's yeah, you make a good point. He's got the metamorphosis on for about quarter duration. Here comes the glyph. Timbersaw going in fierce, doing what damage he can. No buyback's been used by Ad Finum quite yet, but Sven, he's coming up in 20. He's the only one with buyback money. Without a glyph, they'll definitely lose a tier three tower here. Some of them had to go back. They lost their range oh, close. just to the creep spread. 
Invoker out of this game now for 40 seconds. Still they buy back, so melee. close to respawn. And it's probably not going to save the melee barracks anyhow. Oh my, this hurts so much for Sven. Solo exactly. may get left Solo. behind. They're going to get one recovery kill. They find any more. FN on the way out, does have a TP scroll. Relocate outside of the base. Madara looking for the stun. Hawk flying overhead. Big FN dies here. He gets caught by a crit, the Echo Saber. Sven will bring him down. On the way, Vega on the other side of the jungle. Ping's coming out like crazy. Dire have wards down, so they saw this movement. They used their scan earlier. Oh, this is scary. This hook could be huge. Yep. Here we go. Defensive disruption out of the gate. Sven with the war cry. Solo able to force staff back. There's the global, but it comes out way too early. Vega just disengaged, and they should be able to reset this fight. Who's going to go where? Madara gets hook shotted in. Oh, nice relocate. Yep, relocate will save him. Beastmaster actually falls. And they're probably just going to get a kill on the Wisp. Nowhere for Spartan to go. Nice use of the cogs there. So it's a two for nil. I think that fight really just comes down to the global. They are going straight for the enemy base in both lanes. They are going to start to TP back. Oh no, Vega! They got oh, baited into it. Nice. A lot of TPs back. Maybe they can make a catch here. The disruption flying across, chasing Madara. Now the Wisp is going to try to TP out. It's going to be close. They've got the damage. The Wisp gets popped, and he's going to die with a oh, buyback. Now the hook shot in onto Madara. He's completely isolated without his Wisp, and just look how fast the Terror Blade chunks him down. It's going to charge straight. There's a, a lot of pressure on this global silence, I think, Shrek. There really is. It's huge. I mean, this is like game-winning potential right here. You think about back to TI5, the, the complexity, the refresher, Enigma, Deep Freak God. See, maybe here. next time could be the next one. Here we go. Global number one on the back line. It's Skylark. He goes in hard. His team isn't ready for it, though, and it's just a dead Skylark. Awful positioning. Oh, no. Did he refresh yet? He has. He's used oh, the what second global. Oh no, Vega just has to hang on, but Madara doing big damage. He gets a kill on the clockwork, but now he falls. It's looking very bad for Ad Finum. Vega still with most of their team alive and reasonably healthy. The Beastmaster will now buy back. Thug manages to survive. They still don't have detection, at least not on the Timber Saw. They can't bring him down. They don't have just exposed barracks. No Sven for 70, no Wisp for 40. And that is just another one fight near base. What it comes down to, very well played here from the side of Vega, and they're going in on Thug. He's got a BKB, but he's trying to shrug it off. I don't know if they can hold this one. I don't think so without their Sven. Man, yeah. God, in that last fight, man. He had a cog that completely saved FN, tanked a double crit that should have been for that Terror Blade, and they, I don't think, would be able to get that Rex. Thug almost dies here again. Another Ghost Walk. No one at this point. Just sell your Bloodstone and buy a gem, dude. That's going to be Megas, and I think that's game at Finum. A lot of this comes oh. back to those builds that uh, came out here from like no one with that boot travel. Like, yes, it wasn't the best item for the time, but it was also not the item for losing. It was the item for winning. You know, taking a risk, going for a build that's going to allow him to keep up with the split push from the side of Ad Finum and keep up the own net worth. Eclipsing GG. almost everyone but the Terror Blade here just at the end. Another 2 0 was definitely hoping for a third game, but well deserved for Vega. They will be moving on to the next round of the upper bracket where they have Team Alliance awaiting um, our semi finals for this eight team double.